It's Social media average Joes versus big money players. And guess what? The army of average Joes are winning so far, at least for now. But the question is, for how long? Elon Musk even tweeting out his approval with his tweets rallying the stock 30% in the after hours. Elon Musk tweeting game stonk, which is what it's been called on that Reddit Wall Street bets page that's been behind the GameStop moves. Also, Silicon Valley investor Jamath Palapatia says he's betting thousands of dollars on GameStop with the $115 calls for the month of February. Now, GameStop, as we know, has rallied a crazy, they call this insane, 700% this month, literally killing the shorts. Ken Griffin, Steve Cohen backed Melvin Capital, now says that they have closed their shorts. Andrew left this morning at Citron Capital doing the same, both losing money on that trade. Now, GameStop is worth over $10 billion at last count. That's more than Under Armour, more than American Airlines. And GameStop, I would argue, was a perfect target for this type of of cartel of day traders. There's huge short interest in the stock, more than double the actual stock float, betting that GameStop was going to fall anyway. So this is a ripe opportunity to kill out the lopsided short trades on a company that doesn't have a lot of stock to trade. You call this froth, I call it strategic. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not sure whether we differ on this, but I'm calling it a casino, and I don't like it. I think it's going to change the nature of investing, and I don't know what the fallout's going to be. So let's bring in Shah Ghilani. All morning. I think it's a casino-type atmosphere on Wall Street, and I think that's probably bad news for the overall market. Where are you coming from I on disagree. This? I don't see anything systemic, and this is kind of what you call fair markets at play. You're supposed to be looking for mispricing and some of these lopsided trades. What what about the counter argument? Why should shorts be betting more than 100% of the available floats on a stock as they did with GameStop? I think these, these retail, you want to call them average Joes on social media, recognize an opportunity and they went for it. And to, to be able to collaborate in this cartel of traders in order to coordinate this type of, shall we say, market moves, I think is also very impressive. And there has to be an understanding that in 2020, there's a realignment when it comes to markets and how trading works now. This is a social media media age and I guess money managers have to understand okay. that things have changed the dynamics have changed when it comes to trading yeah oh we are in agreement the retail the emergence of the retail investor organized retail investor that is very new in this market and I don't know where it goes but we're in agreement on that one Susan right uh, but what about the uh, we're gonna cover part. this throughout I still think the day. it's strategic but we'll argue that throughout the day we probably will. All right. Um, 